Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Ryan. Today I'm going to show you day one of learning to ride the electric unicycle. I definitely would not recommend trying to learn to ride the electric unicycle on grass. I was thinking start on grass so I wouldn't damage the wheel in case it fell over. That was a big mistake. The best way to learn is on a fence, chain link fence, on a wall, smooth pavement. You don't want to learn on dirt or gravel. As you can tell here I'm bending over, leaning over trying to hang on to the wheel. What you need to do is stand up perfectly straight and then get on the wheel. Don't lean over, don't look down. I probably should make a video on learning how to ride a unicycle for everybody. So your first thing to do is figure out which is your dominant foot, either right or left. Start with that on the wheel first. So I like to use my right as always and still do. You can see I'm still bending over, trying to hang onto the wheel. It's throwing me off balance. First I was thinking uh, the Scottway MSX, if it was damaged or something, because it felt like it should be more sensitive that when you put pressure on it, then it should just go. But it doesn't seem like it just wants to go. Especially in the grass, it's not gonna go at all. When you're first learning how to ride too, it's really, it makes it more difficult if you kinda have your knees bent. So when you're first starting, it seemed like if I kept my whole body straight, my knees straight, and then once I get going, then I can bend my knees. fun to look back and see how somebody starts. As you can tell, I was pretty horrible when I started. So anybody's able to learn to ride the electric unicycle. It just seemed like one move and it's getting stuck in the grass. So I was thinking, like I said, the MSX might have been damaged and not working. I rode an uh, electric unicycle before, so I had no clue. Nobody uh, around me had ever rode one. So yeah, definitely don't try learning grass. It's okay if your wheel falls. Gets scratched up, beat up. So definitely learn on pavement. Long a wall, long a fence. Eventually, uh, on my third day, I found a chain link fence, long stretch chain link fence on pavement, and within 10 minutes I was riding. You need to get the feel for how the wheel just moves. You get the balance. You need momentum to keep up, right? I was getting pretty discouraged this day. And then the next day I also made a video of that where I started using, I was thinking, well, I'll use some ski poles and try it that way. Definitely wear some pants when I first learned I kept on, pedals kept on scraping the back of my legs.
Anybody that's never rode an electric unicycle, it's a very weird feeling. First time you step on one. Hence why a lot of times when I ask people, hey, you want to try electric unicycle, they definitely say no. So yes, there is a learning curve, but once you get it, then it's no big deal. It's just like riding a bike, you just always know how to do it. This uh, Gotway MSX might have been a little harder to learn too because the pedals were angled so it wasn't as comfortable and uh, pretty difficult to feel the stability probably. Pretty much had to get this bigger wheel though because of my uh, size. Little wheels just want to be able to handle my, my weight. Then you got to worry about cutouts. This MXX, I never had to worry about cutouts. Had plenty of battery. Once I finally learned how to ride. Well, thanks for checking out my channel, watching my first day riding an electric unicycle. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Maybe learn some tips. Definitely don't try it on grass, on a wall, a chain link fence. If you do the chain link fence, make sure you wear gloves. You don't tear up your hands. Wear your pads, your helmet, definitely. So if you like, go ahead and subscribe, like, and comment below, and let me know what you think. Okay, bye.